You know you should have had to drill for that winch handle. Yes! Done. Done, done, done. What a thing of beauty. <laughs> okay, there's a little bit in this corner, but there was a tree that I cut down in this corner, and I just want to make sure it's definitely, definitely dead, and I've got as much roots out as possible before I do the joints, just... Well, just better safe than sorry, eh? But, <laughs> actually, it's really straight. I'm quite surprised at myself how I've managed to get it back. To say it's not really like, you know, my thing. I do enjoy doing it, but it's not, it's not my thing really. But yeah, cool. One done, one more to go, and a little bit of rebuild in there. So I'm gonna get the C section, which is going on here, painted ready for the install because we're not going to be able to get behind it so like the I-beams I can paint after they're in C-section all needs to be painted behind Okay, one actually relatively easy hole done. Just gotta do one on that side, which is a little bit more dodgy. Well, just because all that's still, you know, hanging about. Nah, it'd be all right.
Ah, be fine. We're ready for the C section, C beam, C channel, C thingy to go in. So as you can see, it's gonna slot in the hole there and the hole there, and that's gonna be like put the weight mainly on the two walls. It's gonna be then drilled through to the wall and resin fixed at a few points along the way. So it should be super strong. It'll act as a bit of a brace for the wall as well. Yeah, it's going to be a bit tight getting it in because I want like the maximum length possible, the maximum in each wall, and that means kind of feeding it in one end to feed it in the other, and well, we'll see how they go. We've got the lifter for that to get up there, but the problem is getting it up to this level now. Because it's all the way down there, and as we brought these other ones up, it's always, you know, been as we're putting other floors in, but now the floors are completed, it's getting harder to get these beams up. So that's a job for me and Nick to work out when he's here. We've got, I've got a new winch which I haven't installed yet and he's got ropes and pulleys and he's a man with that sort of stuff, but it's gonna be some sort of engineering marvel. Once that's in, then I can put these beams in and the good thing is then the wood beams don't have to go into a wall where it's moist, they go from steel to steel. That's gonna be a great position to be into. There's obviously more repair work to do up here, but it's, Tantalizingly close now. Anyway, I will see you, lovely people, tomorrow.